Hey y'all, I'm Reba. Thanks for checking out the Drinking Vegan channel. I have some tips and tricks to make being vegan in a non-vegan world a little easier. My tip for today is, let's keep it simple. I wore myself out when I first went plant-based. I was making every gourmet complicated recipe in the world and I thought, I can't keep this up, this is hard. Well, duh, before I was vegan, I didn't make complicated recipes every night of the week. And don't get me wrong, if I'm having company, yeah, I might put on the dog. I can do it when I want to. But it's Friday. I know I don't want to cook tonight. So we are going to make a wonderful slow cooker recipe. It's going to be a Mexican fiesta. Because, like, who doesn't want Mexican or something fun on a Friday night? So this is easy. It's fun. It's tasty. Let's get cooking. First, wash seven or eight nice size russet potatoes. Slice into medallions. Once that's done, use about a half a packet of taco seasoning mix. Sprinkle on. A good tip is to put them in a bowl with a lid. Then you can really shake and bake, baby. It will coat them so nice. Then check them. And you know, you might want to kick it up a notch and add a little bit more seasoning. Next, we'll chop up oh, a bunch of veggies. Now I had on hand a yellow pepper, a green pepper, some zucchini, um, I had a red onion, and then some Roma tomatoes. But really, like with most recipes, use whatever veggies you like. And the more the better. This is a great way to get in a bunch of vegetables especially if you're doing a potato reset or following some of the starch solution ideas. This is a great recipe. Once you have all the veggies chopped, but the tomatoes, throw them in a bowl, add in the rest of that taco seasoning mix, and just coat the veggies. Next, slice up your tomatoes. I had three Roma tomatoes. I really wish I would have had a few more. They add just a very nice element to this dish. Next, I added a splash of water in the bottom of my crock pot just to help with sticking. And then we start layering. So we'll do a layer of potatoes, then a layer of our veggies, a layer of tomatoes. And then I made a semi homemade cheesy enchilada sauce recipe to follow and poured about half of it over it and then just did it all over again. In the end, I added another splash of water. I was afraid maybe it would be too dry. Mm, I really don't think I needed it after all, but it's up to you how soupy or dry you might like this recipe.
cooked this on low for about six hours and then let it kick over to keep warm. It was probably a good eight or nine hours later that we actually ate it. You could also do it on high for four hours. Look how wonderful it turned out. Okay, it's Friday night. Dinner is ready. I am so thankful that I put this in the crock pot this morning. It has snowed all day. There's no getting out. I live at the bottom of a big old hill and I am just ready to kick back with a little bourbon and relax and enjoy this delicious meal. Y'all have a great week. Cheers.